Sorry about that, Valimar. Can't imagine it was a very pleasant trip for you, all bound up like that. It, it did, did not present, present the problem. I will now have friend in active state, state and allow the camps to form us. Thanks. Well then, I'll leave him with you. Sure thing. We'll take good care of him. By the way, it's a real honor to be entrusted with the famous Ashen Knight. Welcome back, Reen. You must be exhausted. Not really. I barely did anything. Everything went off without a hitch, mostly thanks to Valimar's power. Not to mention the planning of your people. <sighs> You're annoyed, I take it, by the way we do things. Not really. Regardless of the means, the war coming to a swift end was a good thing for everyone. As for what happened to Crossbell, I'm not in any position to talk. No, those aren't what bother me. I can buy that you had no idea Rufus was an Iron Blood. But did you really not know about my real father? Uh, I didn't have any hard evidence but I did suspect that might be the case. You just seemed somehow similar. The air about you, your facial features. I was always puzzled by how fascinated he was by your class as well. I see. Excuse me then. Right. wasn't the only reason I worried about you, you know. Not that I could possibly tell him that. <sighs> I'm behaving like such a child. It's hard to believe it's been a whole month since I was here last. Guess it didn't snow after all. <sighs> it's not like the excitement of that day has faded away or anything. So why? Why do I feel so cold? Huh?
Oh, Lino flowers. Welcome back, Reen. Huh? Welcome back. <laughs> what are you doing standing there? <laughs> it's not like you to wallow in nostalgia. Did the flowers get to you? You all came to see me. <laughs> they started budding just yesterday. Should be in full bloom in about a week. <laughs> guess some of them couldn't wait. I guess not. It's good to be back, you guys. Agreed. We're all so happy to see you again. You must be wiped out after all you did, though. I'm fine, actually. It really wasn't that tough. Still, did all of you really come out here just to welcome me back? <laughs> Why wouldn't we? It's not like we second years have any lessons to worry about this time of year. Besides, I already had to come out here because of Alamar, so I figured I might as well say hi to you too. Technically, the first years are supposed to be in class right now, but I turned it into a self-study period instead. And that was only possible because everyone's favorite captain told us exactly when you'd be arriving. <sighs> really now? It's nice to see you here too, Celine. Well, well, don't think I went out of my way to be here or anything. But given the way that you were acting when you left, I was a little worried about you. I mean, I wasn't. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Still, thanks everyone. So what now? Going back to your dorm for some well-earned rest? We can carry your stuff for you if you want. No, no, I'm fine. You said that class is in session right now, right? I'm a student, so I might as well attend. I mean, I have been absent for a month now. Wow, you're no fun at all. I was hoping we could skip the whole class thing and get to the welcome back party. I like that idea. Come on, it's party time! Am I the only one who cares about studying at this school? <laughs> well, maybe we can hold the party tonight instead. <laughs> In that case, we should probably head back to the academy. said it before, but it's wonderful to have you back. Thanks. I'm happy to be back, Elisa. I'll never forget those days. The final weeks we spent together as a class are like dazzling jewels forever etched into my memories. I cherished every last moment. I never wanted it to come to an end. But time stops for no one. The minutes and hours kept passing, and our days together were slowly coming to a close. After what happened, Balflame Palace soon returned to its original form. It was almost as if everything that took place there was some sort of dream. People's memories of that day started becoming vague. Many were convinced it was some kind of collective hallucination. That may have been in part a result of the chaotic days that followed, brought about by the Chancellor and Rufus. After the war, the entire country feared that Calvert would invade Crossbell and try to take it for its own. Using that to his advantage, Rufus quickly convinced the nobility to support him, pledged to cooperate with the Chancellor. And in January 1205, the combined forces of both Imperial and Provincial armies invaded Crossbell. Crossbell no longer possessed the weapon of mass destruction that had annihilated Gorelia Fortress. Thanks to that, the city was occupied in a mere day, with no bloodshed. Calvert was quick to react, sending countless airships to try and drive the Imperial forces out. 
However, between Rufus's leadership and the combined might of the tanks and soldats under his command, they were quickly repelled. As for me, Chancellor Osborne's words became the reality. Valimar and I were heralded as those responsible for Heimdall's liberation. And as the purported hero to the nation, I'd received and accepted a request in February to back up our forces in Crossbell. It was there that I found myself suddenly leading numerous soldats and fighting off the Republican army. Before I knew it, everyone around me was referring to me as the Ashen Chevalier. Time kept flowing, and mid-March came. The month in which Class 7 would finally say their goodbyes. And that brings our history review right up to the dawn of the modern era. Next week, we'll be covering the 50-year period from the Orbal Revolution up to the present day. We're blowing through this material a lot more quickly than I would otherwise, so try to keep up with your reading. Oh, and Emma and Machias, if you see anyone struggling, try to help them out, okay? I fully intend to. Leave it to us. I've got plenty of good reference books on the subject. That would be very helpful, actually. Sounds like a pain. Oh well. I do happen to have a few gaps in my knowledge of the revolution. I should be able to help out with the technological side of things if you guys need it. I'm guessing we're gonna run into that Schmidt guy's name a lot too. Well, he was one of the three leading disciples of Professor Epstein, so yeah. <laughs> It'll feel strange seeing his name in textbooks knowing how he is in real life. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of amazing to think we were able to meet him, though. Alright, like I said, I'll be giving a quiz next week on everything we've covered up to now. Which means it'll cover quadratic functions, factorizations, sets, logic, and probability. Oh. And if I'm feeling really mean, there might be a little calculus in there. So, uh, study for this one. Hmm. That's a lot. I'm getting depressed just thinking about it. Sounds more like he's reciting some kind of curse. It is all material we've covered in class before, you know. <laughs> It'll be worth going over the most basic formulas at the very least. That sums up this lecture on the structure of the stock market in Erebonia. Next week, we will hurry on and study unemployment and inflation problems. You're also going to be taking part in a debate on those issues. So make sure each of you are well prepared. What kind of debate? A debate. It's when people are divided into groups for and against something, then they argue their viewpoints. After much consideration, I've decided we will use our remaining time to listen to and enjoy music from all manner of genres. From famous classics to popular modern music, I've gathered records of all kinds for you to enjoy. I even managed to borrow music from a hot new genre like heaving metal, I believe it's called. Oh, I wonder what that sounds like. <laughs> nice work, guys. You poor kids must be exhausted. Feels like all your other instructors are dead set on cramming your brains with as much material as humanly possible. I want to crawl into a hole and die. <laughs> you said it. 
Still, this is exactly how we wanted it. Right. They're doing it for our sake, so I don't mind it so much. There's no way we could cover everything in class, so it's sweet of them to give us the bullet points while they still can. It's paying off for us in the long run, yeah, so we owe them a lot. Forcing you to try and keep up with us is a little unfair of us, though. Yeah! You're gonna have to do all of this again next year! Are you sure you're fine with this arrangement? Of course. This is to my benefit, too. If I get all of this crammed into my head now, maybe I can even come out on top on next year's midterms. Well... That's some confidence. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you actually did it, though. He did come in seventh in the midterms this year, remember? <laughs> I'm probably just being too optimistic. Nah, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Guess we'll know for sure next year. <laughs> anyway, tomorrow's the day you've all been waiting for. Your next free day. I know you've got enough schoolwork to choke a horse, but try to carve out a little time for your clubs and all that youthful jazz. The forecast for tomorrow is clear blue skies. Might be the perfect chance to sneak off and get into some ooh-la-la -la with that special someone. Um... And truly, you teach us all by living your life as a shining counterexample. <laughs> Spoken like a true lifetime member of the Lonely Hearts Club, instructor. Know that there are plenty of guys who would do anything for a private lesson with yours truly. But if that many men are interested in you, how can you spend so much time drinking alone in your room? I think the polite thing to do here is just smile and nod. If you keep setting your sights on guys like Laura's dad, you might as well just buy a couple cats and get it over with. Oh, it does seem like she's fighting an uphill battle to find a good match. Just you wait, guys. In two weeks, when you see the hordes of chiseled, elegant gents draped over me, we'll see who has the last laugh. <laughs> Time really does fly. It's hard to believe our last free day is tomorrow. Yeah, it felt like we still had more time. <laughs> For me, it feels like it's been ages since I last had one. I suppose it would. Were you able to rest up at all while you were away? Not really. It was basically work, work, work the whole time. I did get taken into Crossbell City during what time off I did have. But I can't say I felt very comfortable there. I'm sure. Indeed. That must have been more painful than anything. To the people of Crossbell, we Erebonians are aggressors. I can hardly imagine they would welcome us with open arms. That doesn't sound like it'd stop Lecter from living it up over there, though. <laughs> he did take me to a casino once, actually. He won so much, he might as well have been cheating. Shocking. It always feels like people who like gambling really like it, huh? So, does anyone have anything planned for our free day? Remember, it's the very last one, so make it count. We wouldn't want to end the day with any regrets. True enough. Although, I wonder if I'd end the day regretting that it has to end in the first place if we made it too much fun. I've got so much that I want to do, I'm not sure where to start. I know I want to attend practice, at least. Oh, same. I've got to go taste test some new dishes for the cooking club, plus Kirsch's has a new menu up, and... How many stomachs do you have? Will you be helping the student council tomorrow, Reen? That's the plan. It sounds like Toa will finish handing all her work over to the others today, but they're bound to be busy. So I thought it'd be nice to take some of it off their hands, whether they like it or not. Ah, Reen, ever the reliable gopher. <laughs> That's a very... You response. <laughs> if there's anything we can help with, let us know, okay? Well, I guess I'd better get going. 
I could go straight to the student council room, but it's my first time back in over a month, so it would be nice to take a walk. Maybe I should go and see how Valimar's doing too. Reen? Hmm? What's up? Nothing, really. I just wanted to spend a little more time with you. Well, I'd love that too, but are you sure you can afford to? I mean, you have that meeting with the lacrosse club about tomorrow, don't you? I know, but that can wait. Right now, I just want to be with you for as long as I can. Please? <laughs> oh, well, how can I say no to a cute face like yours? Nothing would make me happier.
Hey there, Rain. Looks like someone's done with class for the day. Yep, just got out. Wait, is that? Yep, Angie's brand new bike. We started building it for you, but then we had a change of heart. I just couldn't tear you away from your current ride after you'd grown so attached. Now I feel bad, considering I pretty much did just that to you. Your new one's got a pretty cool design, though. Don't get too jealous. The specs are pretty much the same as yours. Well, before Angie tunes it up and adds her custom gear for distance riding, that is. But distance riding would mean... You're planning on going off on some big journey, aren't you? Ten points to rain. I just felt like it was time for me to go out and see the world for myself. My martial arts teacher did the same thing once, so I'm sure it'll be a valuable experience for me. The plan for now is to travel through the entirety of Zemiria. That's not a very specific plan, and a pretty sizable journey. You can say that again. I have no idea where she finds the energy. Oh, really now? Your plan to visit the continent's most famous engineering factories is pretty much exactly the same thing. <laughs> you really think so? I take it you'll be leaving Erebonia for a while too, George? Seems that way. First stop's the Burl and ZCF. Always wanted to see it. After that, I got my heart set on a trip to the Epstein Foundation over in Le Mans State. While I'm at it, I think it'd be nice to pay a visit to the Vern Company in Calvert too. Will you even be able to get into Calvert at this point? Hey, <laughs> I didn't say it'd be easy, but I think I can pull some strings. The real reason for this trip is to figure out what I can do as an engineer to help smooth over our international relations. Meeting the continent's finest engineers and discussing things with them should really help get the ball rolling on that. You thought that far ahead. That's really admirable. I hope you can find a way to make that happen. Even though I feel kind of hypocritical saying that, as someone who participated in the war. Don't beat yourself up over it, Rain. You have nothing to be ashamed of. That was your only option, given the way the Chancellor set things up. Your actions actually helped us avoid an even longer, more brutal war. But... Angie's right. You played a role that no one else could have. Just think. If things kept going the way they were going, we could have been at war with all of Crossbell. I don't even want to imagine the number of lives that would have been lost if you hadn't stepped in the way you did. Of course, us telling you whether or not you should feel guilty doesn't matter. It all comes down to you facing your own feelings over what you did. But there's one thing we'd like you to remember as you do. You're not alone, Rain. You've got friends who understand why you did what you did. Sometimes, I wonder how I was lucky enough to get such good ones. Thanks, you guys. This really helps. <laughs> don't mention it. On a completely different note, why don't you pay Valimar a visit while you're here? You spared no expense making sure he'd be nice and cozy in there. I think I will. But not to discredit your coziness efforts or anything, but he seems fine no matter where I leave him. <laughs> Well, aren't you a sweet chevalier? Maybe I'll check in on him in a bit, too. Hey, Valimar. How you holding up? Relatively comfortably. My ability to self-repair means that maintenance is not mandatory, but I expect it will increase my operating efficiency. Glad to hear it. 
This is going to be our new home base for the time being, so you can get in as much maintenance as you need. I'm gonna need you a lot in the days ahead, Valimar. I will strive to meet your expectations. Uh, something wrong? Not as such. I thought I sensed something unusual, but it must have been my imagination. You really are getting to be scarily human these days, you know. What was it you sensed, though? A person? I am unsure. It may have simply been a fluctuation of the Earth things below us. Similar fluctuations are hardly abnormal. Well, if you don't think it's anything worth worrying about, I'll try and put it out of my mind. If you sense anything strange in the future, though, let me know, okay? You can tell me... telepathically was the word, right? Indeed. I shall use it to inform you should I sense anything is
Yep, I knew it. No wonder she fell asleep. She must have been really busy getting everything sorted out for the spring. <laughs> Makes me remember finding her like this over in the computer room. Oh, right. I probably shouldn't look too much or she'll get mad when she wakes up. Hmm. Angie. George. Crow. <laughs> Sorry for coming in without permission. I did knock, though. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's my fault for dozing off like this. <sighs> Why do you always have to keep finding me like that? I hope you weren't looking at me while I was sleeping again. I, uh, uh I did try to look as little as possible. Well, if you say so. Hmm? Is something the matter? You're not looking too well. No, I'm fine. Maybe the light streaming in through the window is making me look off color? I feel fine, really. Uh. Come with me. Um... W what's this all about? I know that you're a boy and all, and I do think that you've grown a lot during your year here. No... I probably shouldn't even call you a boy anymore. You're a grown man now. But... That doesn't mean you always have to stand and endure everything life throws your way. Okay? If it gets too much, it's alright to sit down and let it all out. Whether you're a boy or a grown man doesn't change that. It's okay, Reen. <gasps> I'm so sorry. <sighs> I'm so, so sorry. I promised I'd bring him back. I promised I'd make him graduate with you. But I couldn't do it. It's okay. You did everything you could. You made sure he knew how we all felt. And you let all of us know how he really felt, too. So, don't get so worked up about it. Okay? I'm sorry. I didn't want anyone to see me like that. <laughs> well, I guess we're even then. Not like I jump for joy every time you catch me sleeping. <laughs> Have you finished getting everything ready for the next student council now, by the way? Yep. My days of being president are almost done. The first years taking over are really smart, though. I barely had to teach a thing in the end. Still, it must have been hard work getting through it all. You're going on a tour of various NGOs after graduation, right? Yep. The plan's to take a year to visit NGOs in lots of different fields. Politics, economics, engineering, medicine... After that, I'm not sure what I want to do. I'll probably join either the army or something related to the government, I suppose. Well, I'm pretty sure they'd both love to have you. There's no chance either one would say no to you. Especially since taking a year off hasn't made them any less determined to recruit you. After all you did with commanding the courageous, it's no wonder you're so in demand. I don't know. I don't think I did anything special, really. Still it'd be best in the long run for me to see the world from a variety of different perspectives. I don't know what path I'll choose, but I want to step onto it with a firm decision on how things should be. I think that's the best thing I can do for this country's future. <laughs> Maybe I'm being a little overdramatic there, though. Not at all. After how much you've done for this academy, I can only imagine how much you could do for this country. Just try not to overwork yourself, okay? 
We're with you all the way, but we will always worry, you know? <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I almost forgot. What was it that made you come here? I mean, I'm happy you did, but... Oh, I've completely forgotten, too. I just came to ask if there was anything I could do to help tomorrow, seeing as it's another free day. But... you've only just come back. And besides, tomorrow's your... That's all the more reason I want to spend tomorrow's free day the same way I spent all of the others. It wouldn't feel like our final free day is Class 7 if it were any different. Well... if you say so... Okay! I do have a few things in mind, so I'll just drop them into your mailbox in the dorm like I always do. And thanks for offering. Sharon? What reason could you possibly have for being here? The chairman gave me her permission to return to my former position as her dormitory's caretaker. 
Which means I am here to serve you all once more. There may only be a short time left until the end of the year, but I'll make sure you want for nothing during it. I've already started preparing your evening meal, so there's no need to go out and buy anything. Oh, well, how about that? I'm fine with this. We will gladly accept your offer. <laughs> Sharon's cooking's better than whatever grub we could wrestle up together anyway. How do you manage to get permission from Mother in the first place, though? Weren't you helping to rebuild the Reinford Group? I thought the company was getting so many orders in, it was struggling to keep up! Now that Master Gwyn has returned to the company, everything is back in order. He and the Chairman have been speeding through one task after another since he got back. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So the former and current Chairman make quite a team, I see. Boy, I'm starving. Wouldn't mind a drink either. With the weather getting warmer, it's just about time for peak beer season. Huh? What are you guys all gathered out here for? Oh, why are you here? It's a pleasure to see you too, Lady Sarah. I brought a bountiful supply of smoked oysters and sardines if you'd like a snack to accompany your beer. Would you like them alongside your dinner? Damn it. Yes. Hmm. I'm surprised she can just walk around in public like this. You know, considering her affiliation. I'm guessing there's some sort of agreement in place between Reinford and the government to leave her alone. Though, even if there weren't, I can't imagine anything would be able to stop Sharon from doing what she wants.